Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Eye Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I deal with all signs, but I think you'll find guys as a Pisces, I try to do lots of different things here on my channel. So please stay tuned to all of the amazing things coming. I do member perk memberships. Um, I have my website. I do personal readings. I do all kinds of amazing stuff. I also have subscription boxes that you can sign up for. So I have lots of fun different things that I do on my channel. So I really hope that you'll look around and that you'll join the family and that you'll subscribe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. Guys, as you know, these readings are always very general, so anything that is pertaining to your particular energy, please, anything that is pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. How to book personal readings with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, any type of sales or deals or anything, everything will always be linked down below in regards to my channel. So, with all that being said, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, hey guys, good morning guys. Um, I just, I'm gonna do this quick video for you guys because um, <clears throat> I've been recording so much that like my, vo <laughs> my voice and my energy is very, very low today. So I didn't wanna do like a live, but I didn't wanna let you guys down as far as like, like a reading. So I decided to do a pick a pile. I just felt drawn to do a pick a pile for you guys today. And I said, let me pre-record it really quick for them that way. I can upload it and post it. So I do apologize that I'm not going live today, guys. But hopefully next week, I think it should kind of come a little bit more on track. Micah's on spring break. Um, and so I feel like it'll be a little bit different um, next week. So I'm trying, trying, trying my hardest to keep to the schedule. But this is why, guys, I ask that you be patient with me. And I ask that you be, um, bear with me because this is why I try to give you guys other days where I don't normally go live. And then I go live. You know what I mean? So I do those extra days during the week when I can to make up for the fact if I can't do it on the weekend or, you know, like if something comes up or whatever, because remember, I'm a, I'm a single mom. So sometimes things I got to tweak it. So I hope you guys always know that in my heart, I always try to make it up to you in some sort of way. So I hope you guys know that because um, I always love and appreciate you guys. So I never want to like not do something, you know? So I said, you know what? Let me do a pick a pie. I said, I haven't done one. I usually only do like the one a month now. Um, but I said, let me do a pick a pile. I said, since I can't really go live today, let me do a pick a pile because I really, really, really felt drawn to do it. And so I said, this was the best um, choice for today. Now, there's a song that I've been listening to that I discovered yesterday that I am absolutely in love with. I actually use it to kind of meditate in the morning now as well. I throw it into kind of like my routine because it's just such a beautiful song. I mean, it talks about, obviously, it talks about heartbreak um, and it talks about kind of like walking away from heartbreak and, and you but there's just there's like a couple of lines in the song itself that just are so powerful and like amazing for for people to resonate with to try to grow out of something that brought you such pain um and i wanted to share it with you guys it's called uh no vas a olvidar so it means uh um in english it means like can you let it go or like can you forget you know what i mean um it's billy ellish I hope I said her name right, Billy Ellish, or Billy Ellis or Billy Ellish, I think, yeah. Um, so anyway, it's her and Rosalia. So you guys definitely look it up. Oh my God, listen to it. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like it. I'm obsessed with it. It's just so beautiful. And really quickly before we get into the pick a pile, it's funny because <laughs> um, this, I think it was this morning or, yeah, it was this morning because I was watching an interview about the song. And uh, the girl, the one artist, Billy, was saying how, you know, this was a little bit challenging for her because she had to sing in Spanish, even though she doesn't speak the language. But she did such an amazing job. In my opinion, she did an amazing job. She felt it because she, exactly that. She said that she felt it and that she's always been the type of person that growing up, she's always listened to other music in different like uh, languages and cultures because she's always been drawn to the emotional aspect of the song instead of what the actual words are does that make sense guys so it's like even if you don't speak spanish or even if you don't speak english or whatever i'm i'm that person too i listen to songs and all i love arabic songs there's um it's uh french songs that i have to like there's so many different things that like i love because music is all about feeling it right like yes the words are beautiful and you know the beat and everything is amazing but when you can feel it 
it's a whole nother level, you know? So I think you guys would really enjoy it. I think it's just so beautiful, just the beat and the emotion that you could feel and the heart, it's just, it's amazing and it's powerful. So you guys should definitely check it out. Um, I If I did the live this morning, what I wanted to do was play it in the background for you guys while you kind of meditated and chose. So if you guys wanna pause the video really quick and maybe put it on, for yourselves in the background while you concentrate to see what you're drawn to. I have rose quartz here for pile number one. All right. And we guys, you know, right? The rose quartz is about, you know, healing, like our heart chakra and everything like that. So it's kind of just about like healing um, and just being open for love and stuff, right? Then we have the moonstone, which I thought would be great because the we have a moon coming over here on Sunday, which is smart. Um, so I thought that the moonstone would be great and moonstone, um, you know, good, obviously for like the manifesting for protection and stuff like that. So I felt drawn to that one as well. All right. So I'm going to pause for like a second while you guys concentrate and then we'll get into the pick a pile. Okay. So, for those of you who were drawn to pick the rose quartz, pile number one, and for those of you who are watching now, and for those of you who are going to be watching after, let's take a peek. All right, let me take a, I'm going to put them all down, and then we'll take a peek at the overall, and then I'll let you guys know what's up. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So, it's so funny that this is the rose quartz pile. Very funny because there's a lot of heartbreak going on here. So for those of you who were drawn to the rose quartz, there's a lot of heartbreak going on here. There's a lot of stress and burdens in regard to a particular relationship that you guys are focused on and that you guys are thinking on. And you, a lot of you are actually like the, the most heartbreaking thing for you that you can't even seem to kind of like take out of your heart is the fact that you keep replaying and thinking about all the special moments with this person. So you see how like you have the ten of wands, you have like all that stress and burden and, and just just that, it's just like that heartbreak is associated with this as well. I'm feeling that heartbreak and you guys are really seriously thinking a lot, like a lot, a lot, like this really, it's like literally replayed in your head. Now here's the funny thing, your, it's a, you know, the monology card, which is funny, Um, your commitment's being tested. Now here's the thing. From what I'm sensing, you guys are afraid to take the leap of faith with somebody. It's like there's a person that you guys are thinking about that you're like head over heels over, okay? I can feel that, but you guys are scared to take the leap with this person for some reason. And then your journal card is, what are you afraid will never happen? And then what are you afraid will happen? You know what that means, right? This is the, I love these journal cards because it literally just forces us to self-reflect on things that maybe we wouldn't, Think to maybe poke and focus on you know what i'm saying there this is literally tying into saying that your commitment's being tested so it's kind of like what are you afraid will happen and what are you afraid will not happen like a lot of you are afraid maybe people might get hurt in the process or you know maybe this person's too good to be true and then you feel like if you change your whole life and you f up like you're you're scared of the actual outcome you know what i'm saying like have the fear of the you know the actual outcome which would make sense right if you're really feeling stressed about this particular person and then you're replaying um you know uh, memories and things like that like this person is really invading your heart space and it's it, from what it feels like to me they're not going to go away like you will literally never be able to forget this person all right so the manifest oracle card that you guys got the manifest your soulmate oracle card that you guys got is sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night and it's funny because like that's why I said this is like really weighing heavy on your guys's heart literally weighing heavy on your guys's heart and it's funny because it's it's weighing so heavy that it's a flex, it's a afflicting oh my god it's affecting other things like it's affecting your ability to create it's affecting your finances like you're not you're not as focused you feel scattered and it's because of the fact that this like decision and this person will not leave your heart space until you make a choice you either have to make a choice to completely walk away and that means completely cutting ties with this person or go after this person and take that risk and then again like they say what are you afraid will never happen or what are you afraid will happen you know it's almost like you guys are scared that this literally will be your happy ending and then it's like oh my god what do i do you can still do other things and level up once you get to your happy ending it just gets better and better from there 
Okay, and then to close your guys' pile, you guys got Mindful Message, um, Infinite Creativity. So it says, at any moment, I am able to tap into an infinite source of energy and creativity within me. Unique ideas flow through, each one capable of blossoming into beautiful creations. Oh, what was I saying too? Just about the fact that you guys feel blocked. It's affecting other things. Yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak in this pile. And I'm so sorry for that heartbreak. Like, it sucks. I can feel that heartbreak. And it does. It definitely sucks. I can assure you that I've felt that type of heartbreak before. And it's definitely not fun. So I feel you guys in that pile. But it is going to get better. And you guys definitely really should focus. Sometimes when you're in pain, and like I think I always say this too, it's like when a lot of us are in pain or, you know, maybe we're thinking about something too much or overthinking, overanalyzing something, the best thing to do is either throw yourself in work because then you pour that energy into something and you kind of push yourself. And when you change that vibe, you manifest better things anyway, right? So it's a win-win. Or, um, I forgot what I was saying. You just, anyway, you have to change your vibration. You really do. You have to change your vibration. Oh, focus on maybe being there for others. You know what I mean? Like just give to others, maybe, you know, try to do nice things or, you know, just really try to focus on, you know, maybe changing little things to really be, you know, like nicer or, 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 or more helpful, you know, maybe just focusing attention off of your problems and your concerns that you're overthinking about and then maybe just focusing on somebody else you know what i mean that really does help so i hope that was helpful guys um those of you who chose pile number one throw sports all right i love you guys so much i hope you appreciate that i did this instead of doing the live today because i at least wanted to give you guys something um and remember i think i did go live a couple other times this week besides tuesday I, i'm pretty sure i did so yes yeah, so bear with me, guys, all right? Bear with me. I'm still, everything else is uploading and all that stuff. I think I'm doing pretty good. So bear with me, bear with me. All right. So for those of you who chose the Moonstone, let's take a peek. All right. Okay, so there's a mix here, actually. So there's a mix here of, like, career and love for you guys, actually, who chose this pile. All right, so let's take a peek here. All right. So, yeah, okay. So the first thing I'm getting is that there's a lot. Okay, so what I'm getting here, the vibe, is that in regards to, like, career and work, there's a lot of you that in your, in your like, heart space or, or kind of, like, in something that maybe you need to work on that maybe you don't realize that you need to work on. Like, it's saying patience. It says, I want everything to happen quickly, okay? Then you got voicing opinions. It says, I feel like my opinion doesn't matter. And I'm really strongly, I mean, for some of you, this could be love, you know, for those of you that it resonates with, it could be love if it, you know, if it is resonating as love, but for the majority of you, I'm picking up, this is in regards to work. Like you're stuck in a job or you're trying to do something as far as maybe like your own path, your own career, your own business, something like that. Right. But there's a lot of options. You feel very confused. You guys got the four of cups here. There you got, there's a lot of things going on as far as like, you're not sure which way to go. Should you leave? Should, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of confusion surrounding your decision to really step into your power, step into your like spiritual and sacred journey. That's what it is. There's a big fear there in regards to that, right? Now it is saying, right? Like they are saying that they're, look, it's a personal issue, reach a solution. All right. So in regards to, in regards to this, right? In regards to this, cause look at even your journal card says, what does your, your ideal career look like? How do you feel in it? And how can you move closer towards it? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a lot in regards to career. A little, a small portion of you, like I said, that this could resonate in regards to love. Um, if it resonates with you, then that's how you know. But for the majority of you, this is career. This is in regards to like your career, your soul journey, your path, like your sacred, you know, finding your purpose, living in your truth. That's what this is. And eventually you guys are going to, it's coming soon. You're going to get a, a decision. You're going to get like an answer. You're going to, you're going to be able to decide what you want to do and what you want to go forth towards in. Okay. Then you're uh, manifesting your soulmate oracle. You guys got the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. Which that makes sense. No, guys? Like, that's a given, obviously. But it's because what happens is you guys, this is this is the power. Like I said, you guys are working, 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 working. Like, and, and you're trying to, you guys want to get to a place where you don't, it's like you realize you don't have to work and then die. Do you know what I mean? Like, because a lot of people just end up working their entire lives and then they die and they don't get to experience life at all. You know, and all they did was work. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all they did. They, they kind of got enslaved to their own life, like their own mind. They like imprisoned themselves, like working, 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 working. No, no. This pile right here, you guys are literally coming to that realization and you're like, you know what? I really truly can do something that I love and still be successful. And, you know, it is going to be hard work. And I know that, but damn, you know, like I want to do it. It's just a matter of not that you, uh, like, not when you guys are going to do it or not, not, yeah, not when, it's what you're going to do. That's the problem. You guys are still not, just. it's not that you're deciding if you're going to do it because you are. It's not a matter of when. It's what you guys are going to do because you feel so confused about which path to take. You know what I mean? So let's see. Your mindful message that you guys got, all right, was release. Today I release limiting beliefs, harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. I am ready for transformation and welcome this shift. I am creating space for a new chapter filled with love, abundance, and amazing opportunities. Oh, yeah, but this, that's the funny thing. You guys are, that's what I'm saying. Like, and it's so funny. You guys want to see something so funny that I just noticed? Oh my God, that's freaking hilarious. Do you see how there's two jars here? You see how this one has a jar, right? With the love. And then this one has the jar and it's releasing. Isn't that funny? Like this is getting released, but then this love's going, isn't that funny? So you're releasing and then the more you release, the more love you get back. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes sense, right? I kind of love this for you guys. So whoever, you know, I hope this guy, I hope this resonated with you guys. I feel like I resonated with um, a mixture of both actually, <laughs> which is funny. I just felt drawn to these two stones today. So I, like, honestly, guys, I feel like both resonated with me. I don't know about you guys, but I know I feel like both resonated with me because I have a little bit of this going on and then I have a little bit of this going on as well, which is hilarious. So, but it makes total sense. I love it. So you guys listen, work hard and figure it out for yourself because it, it, literally there's no need to like work yourselves to death if you're living in your passion and your purpose and you're doing something that you love every day because not only will you be working and making money, but you'll be happy every day doing something that you love, you know? So keep that in mind. All right. Keep that in mind. And you guys will definitely have to keep me posted. Um, I'll definitely see, you know, we'll see how next week goes, but I, you know, I definitely should see you guys, um, with no problem because Micah's on spring break. So we're good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if this resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.